And so now, let's solve another problem involving simple curves. Now we have the 5 degree curve which intersects a property line CD at point D. And then the back tangent intersects the property line at point C which is 105.72. And then that distance is measured from the PC which is at station 2 plus 40. And then given the new angle that the property line CD makes with the back tangent and it is 110, uh, 110 degrees 50 minutes. And then we have to compute the following. First, we will find the length of curve from the PC to point D. And then we have to find the stationing of point D and then the distance CD. And so let's draw our simple curve. And then this is PC and this is PT. Ito yung tangent distance and then this is the radius. And then let's draw a dividing line. So this is perpendicular, saka ito rin. And then ito yung i natin. Now diba, we are given the degree of curve, which is 5 degree, uh, or 5 degrees. Now hindi sinabi dito kung chord basis or arc basis. But usually, arc basis yung ginagamit natin. And so by arc basis, we have 2 pi r is to 360 degrees. It's equal to one station, which is assumed as 20 meters for the arc length, over our degree of curve, which is 5. So if this is 5, we can solve r. And so our radius will be 2 pi r over 360 is equal to 20 over 5. And so we have 229.18. And so this is our radius. Now yung curve down natin intersects a property line CD at point D. And then yung back tangent intersects that property line at point C. And so let's say that's somewhere dito. Let's say this is our property line CD. Uh, let's just use another color. Let's say this is CD. And then yung intersection dito sa back tangent, that's point C. And yung intersection naman sa curve, that's point D. And then it's 105.72 meters daw from the PC. And so it will be this distance from here, uh, dito sa PC, patungo dito. So this is 105.72 meters. And then yung PC daw natin, yung stationing is 2 plus 0 for 0. Now the angle that the property line CD makes with the back tangent is 110 degrees 50 minutes. And so that angle will be this angle. We have 110 degrees 50 minutes. Yan. Now let's just actually make this obtuse. So rotate natin onte. Yan. And so what we can do here is we'll connect these points, itong C sa D, dito sa center ng circle. So let's just actually remove this one first. And then let's focus on this. And so let's use another color. Connect natin yung point C, patungo dito sa center, saka itong point D. Yan. And then we'll label this angle as phi. So diba, uh, considering this triangle, let's color this blue. Itong triangle na to, diba, this is a right triangle. Because we know that this is perpendicular. And so considering this triangle, I can solve the angle phi. So diba, I can use the tangent function. So tan phi is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now the opposite side to this angle is uh, 105.72, which is this side. So we have 105.72 divided by our adjacent side is the radius. And then our radius is 229.18. So over 229.18. So our angle phi will be the arc tangent of 105.72 divided by 229.18 and so that will be 24.76 so phi equals 24.76 yan and so diba we can also solve this angle this will be let's say theta now diba theta is just 180 uh, again the sum of the interior angles of the triangle is 180 and then minus 90 degrees minus phi which is 24.76 so our theta will be 180 minus 90 minus 24.76 we have 65.24 so 65.24 degrees color natin and then next we'll now solve this angle yan itong kulay red now diba we know that this total angle is 110 degrees 50 minutes and so to get this angle itong naka red we'll just subtract this angle so 110 degrees and then 50 minutes minus 65.24 degrees, we have 45.6 degrees. Uh, again, you may consider this answer or you can just use the exact decimal. So this is, let's say, alpha and we have alpha equals 45.6 degrees. So 45.6 degrees. Now diba, we can actually solve this side. Yan. Kasi it's only the hypotenuse of this triangle. And so using the sine function, we have sine 24.76. That's equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Now the opposite side is 105.72 divided by the hypotenuse, which is our unknown. 
And so our hypotenuse will be, uh, let's say this is H, 105.72 over sine 24.76. So we have 252.42. And so now that we have this side, we can now use it to solve CD. Uh, however, since we still have one angle, let's just actually use sine law. Now diba, itong naka-purple na line, that's still our radius, which is 229.18. And then its opposite angle is 45.6 degrees. And so since we know this side, we can actually solve the opposite angle. So let's color this orange, and then we'll label this as beta. And so diba, using sine law, we have 229.18 over the sine of the opposite angle, which is alpha. Now again, that's opposite. So sine of 45.6, that's equal to this side, which is 252.42 over sine beta because that's opposite. And so we can solve beta. So that will be 229.18 over sine 45.6. That's equal to 252.42 divided by sine beta. So solving sine beta, we have, uh, let's just assume a value. Now diba, itong sine beta natin, if we'll try to look at our figure, it's most likely obtuse. And so that means that we'll use a guess value near to 180. And so let's just say 140. And so you'll be able to get this angle. So we have 128.1. So beta equals 128.1 degrees. Now what if pangit yung pagka-draw and then you assumed acute. Diba, let's say if yung guess mo is acute angle, let's type in 45. And so diba, iba yung lalabas, 51.89. However, this is wrong. Again, in oblique triangles, you have to be careful talaga dito sa angles. And so that's why, when you will draw, try to approximate your drawings so that you will know if obtuse or acute. Now dito kasi, if you will assume acute, then magkakamali ka na sa other items. And so that's why you have to be careful. So let's go back. Considering our figure, we'll assume that it's obtuse or greater than 90. Kasi masyadong malaki yung opening dito. So 145, we have again 128.01. Uh, I mean 10. So angle beta is equal to 128.1 degrees. And so diba, since we have angle alpha, saka beta, we can now solve this angle. Itong nakakulay red. So let's say this is angle C. Now diba, to get angle C, that will just be 180 minus 45.6 minus 128.1. Uh, by the way, we are considering this triangle. So C will be 6.3. So this is 6.3 degrees. And so diba, since we already have our angle, which is opposite to CD, we can now use the sine law para masolve natin to. So we have CD over sine of 6.3 because that's opposite. That's equal to, you can use any side. However, I will just use R instead of H. So I have 229.18 is to sine of this angle because that will be opposite. So sine of 45.6. And so CD will be 229.18 over sine 45.6 multiplied by sine 6.3. And so that will give me 35.2. And then this is meters. And so this is our answer for letter C. Now again, yung letter C is to find the distance CD. And so now, kukunin na natin yung stationing of point D. Now diba, this is point D. And so to get the stationing, we need to first find kung ano yung length of curve patungo dito. And so diba, we need this angle. Kasi ito yung central angle considering these points. So that angle will be 24.76 plus 6.3. So we have 31.06. And so to get the length of curve, itong naka green. Let's say the length of curve patungo sa D, we'll use ratio and proportion. Now diba, 2 pi r is to 360 for one whole circle. And the new length of curve has a central angle of 31.06. So this is 31.06 degrees. And then since we know R, which is 229.18, we can now solve LCD. So we have 2 pi times 229.18 over 360 times 31.06. That will give us 124.23 uh, or 24. And so we have LCD, which is 124.24 meters. And so this is our answer for letter A, the length of curve from PC up to point D. And so for letter B, for the stationing of point D, we'll just add the length of curve to the stationing of PC. So the stationing of D is the stationing of PC plus the length of curve patungo sa D. So we have 2 plus 0, 4, 0 itong value na to, and then plus 124.24. And so this will be 2040 plus 124.24. That will give us 2164.24. Or simply 2 plus 164.24. And so this is our answer for letter D. I mean letter B.
Thank you.